Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Chelsea and we are here for week four of Shop My Stash. And you guys know the drill. I'm gonna go through my makeup. I'm gonna talk about products that I used last week, give you like a short recap of the ones that stand out to me because I realized last week I didn't go over every product, but if I didn't get to it, I probably forgot about it. Not a good thing, but do a quick little recap of what I used last week and then show you all what I'm gonna be using for this week. But before we get into that video, I just wanna say thank you so much for taking time out of your day to spend some time with me. If this is your first time here, definitely stick around and subscribe. We love to have you here. We're a cool group over here if you didn't know. And if you are a returning subscriber, as always, thank you so much for your constant love and support to this channel. It really does mean a lot to me and I truly appreciate each and every one of you so let's get into the video okay so starting with primer last week what did we use oh okay I wanted to use this Smashbox photo finish foundation primer and I liked this but it didn't have a lot of radiance to it like I wanted it to so it's a okay primer but it's definitely not one I would go out and buy full size because I I like to see more illumination and this gave a very subtle one. So this would be good if you don't really like a lot of radiance under your foundation, but I like to have a little bit more. But it was nice, it was pretty hydrating too, so it wasn't a bad one at all. So I wanna use this Good Molecule Silicone Free Priming Moisturizer. This is a really good hydrating moisturizer. Good Molecules did send it to me, um, but I have been enjoying it, so I wanna get a little bit more use out of that. So this will be my hydrating primer for the week. I will use this for like my kind of glowy primer. So this is the Ola Henriksen Banana Bright Face Primer. It has vitamin C in it and banana powder um, inspired pigments that are going to help with radiant for the skin. So I got this sent, this was sent to me from Influencer a little while ago and um, I definitely want to get some more use out of it. So this will be another primer that I want to use and I want a pore filling primer so I'm going to reach way back <laughs> and get this one here. This is the Revlon Photo Ready pore reducing primer and this is a really good primer I used to use this all the time in my videos like earlier part of last year um, I've heard some people say this is equivalent to the uh, Tatcha silk canvas primer um, it's in a liquid form I've never really tried that primer before so I can't attest to it but I can say I really do like this and this does conceal my pores so let's give this a little love on to concealer so last week I used let me put this right here Last week I used the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and I really did enjoy this. This is like an OG favorite of mine. I really do love it and it's kind of one of those things I always will love. So that's great. But this week I purchased the new e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. I'm wearing it today for the first time. So I will be doing a get ready this week with this um, and then I will be sharing with you my thoughts on it. But I do have mine in shade... What is this? Tan Neutral. Um, and this is a good shade match for me. So I think that's the only concealer I want to use this week so I can get a good feel for it. Y'all, let me just say, I'm very proud of myself. Every time I do these, I use less and less product. <laughs> okay, I'm going to be moving on to powder. So I picked up this new e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder in the shade Medium. Haven't even cracked it open, as you can see. So I do want to try this because I feel like it could be good. Um, I'm not going to go too deep into this because I'll use this also in the get ready with me, but I want to try this. I am doing so good y'all on panning my Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless finish powder. Look at that. So excited, but then kind of not excited because I have to buy this again. This powder is gold, gold. You hear me? Gold. I wear the shade medium. So I definitely want to pan this and then purchase a new one because it's amazing. I have missed this one, the Jaclyn Hill, what is this? Um, Luminous Powder and Brilliant. I actually have been missing this one, so let's go with this one, just in case the e.l.f. powder is not what it needs to be. On to my favorite category, foundation. So today I'm wearing the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. Okay, I have mine in the shade 8.75 and uh love it i've always loved this foundation but i don't reach for it often because it is more expensive but i put it on today and i was like honey child yes we need to put you in rotation so i'm gonna do that one and then this one 
the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. I have mine in the shade Natural Amber. I have not worn this foundation in a hot minute. So, and I think I still have like a good amount left. Oh yeah, I got a good amount left. So let's let's get her back in the rotation, Haley's. This is a newer foundation to my collection. I did a review last week of this foundation. I was so impressed by it. It held up through all of my tears when I was crying like profusely at the Celine Dion concert. So this foundation is really nice. I have mine in the shade 6.65 Neutral. So I'm gonna throw this in the mix just, you know, just to have a third because I like to have foundation options. All right, moving on to, oh, and last week, I used the Haley's foundation and I also, I think I used this one last week. I actually have really been enjoying this L'Oreal Age Perfect Radiant Serum Foundation. I have mine in the shade 110. On to face products and blush and highlight and bronzer. So last week I wanted to use the minted blushes. I have all four of them. They're really pretty blushes. And I only got to use one last week. So I'm gonna use these again, cause those are really pretty. They are very pretty and really high pigment um, to them as well. For bronzer last week, I used the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer in the shade um, Sculpting Bronzer. And you know what guys? I don't really like this shade on me for some reason. It's a little, it's almost, it's like a hair too deep. This will probably be better in the summer, but it almost looked a little muddy on me last week. So this week, I wanna go with the shade Deep Bronzer. So this shade is a lighter, and I'm hoping that it'll look better, which I feel like it will, because clearly I, it, I gave it a lot of love. <laughs> a lot of love, so I wanna use this one. Last week, I used my Tom Ford Duo, Blush Duo in the shade Paradise Lust, and y'all, this blush and highlight, like I love, like seriously love. So I am gonna put this back in the rotation because I I just wanna use it again. Highlight, I wanna go back to the Jaclyn Hill Accent Light Palette. I used it this morning and I was like, I have missed you. Let me not try to blind y'all. But yeah, I actually have this one in the shade a Lash. I had Flare that was for deeper skin tones, but I didn't like that I could really only wear two shades. So in this palette, I can use all four shades. And even for these lighter ones, like I have on this one today and this, this shade here. So for these lighter two shades, I just mix them with these two shades. And that allows me to make all four of them work as a highlight. So I really do like this palette a lot. So we're gonna give her some love this week. For bronzer, I'm gonna go with this NARS. This is a limited edition palette. This is the Orgasm Infatuation palette from 2018. And as you can see, that bronzer in Laguna got a lot of love from me. So I think we should try and pan it. Like we're not gonna pan it in one week, but we can make that bronzer go away a little faster. I really like this bronzer and I was so shocked. I didn't think it would show up on my complexion, but it does. So, um, and then I get another blush and highlight. This um, is their orgasm highlight, kind of like a blush topper, but I can wear it as a highlight. So. Yeah, let's add that to the mix. Last week, I was supposed to use the Fenty Diamond Balm. I never got around to it. And there was another highlight I was supposed to use last week, and I never got around to it. So, sorry about that, guys. I told y'all, I didn't really wear a lot of makeup last week. So, I really didn't get through even half of the products I was supposed to. And that just wants to stay falling over. For facial sprays, I let's use this. This is the... Olay Mist, this is the Ultimate Hydration Essence and it's in the Energizing Scent. And this is a really nice mist. It's, it's a really nice hydrating mist. So I will use this to um, mix my foundations in. You all know if you've watched any good amount of my Get Ready Weeks with me, you, like, you all know I like to spray my face with like a hydrating mist to mix in my foundation. And then to set my face, let's give good old Lila B a glow face mist some love. I probably should do another one. But this is like, I love her. These two, these two are my favorite setting mists for sure. I have these other mists over here, but you know, you just have your favorites. I'll, I'll get to them as well. Well, you know, okay, let's throw in this hard candy one. This one is 
a setting spray. This one just adds a little bit more glow to my face. So I'll just have to shake it up real good. But let's let's give this one some love too. But I'm gonna keep the Lila B though. <laughs> because the hard candy one can make me look a little more dewy on certain days. And depending on what look I wanna go for, I, I may not wanna go for that. So that's it for setting sprays, blush, highlight, and bronzers. So let's go over on to eyeshadow palettes. So I know for sure I wanna show some love to this NARS palette. This is the NARS Ignited palette. This is from Holiday 2018. And first of all, this takes me so long to open. And I dropped it a little while ago, so it's broken. So I have to be very gentle with this. But the shadows obviously still work. And these shimmers right here, these shimmer metallic shades are so pretty and although there's only three matte shades you can still do a full look especially with the different types of shim shimmer shades so i saw this last week and i was like oh, i want to show that one some love i recently picked up the ColourPop nude mood palette and um i did some swatches on my instagram page glam girl chelsea if you'd like to follow me there and i did wear this palette once it's actually on my eyes today if you go back up to the intro. This is really pretty. So I'll keep that in the rotation. I was thinking about this palette when I was driving to work. I know, I know y'all are like, why are you thinking about makeup when you're driving to work? Cause I, I love makeup. I think about it all the time. Let's go with this Natasha Denona Gold palette. Cause you guys know her love palette is being released tomorrow and you know who's getting it. This girl, I'm getting it. Okay, so I haven't used this palette in a while. I think this would be great to just, you know, get another feel for it. This is a really good palette. Obviously, I've given it a lot of love at some point in time. So yeah, I thought about it. And I said, you know what? I should put that in the rotation this week. So that's what I'm going to do. Thank you, self, for remembering that. <laughs> okay, last week for eyeshadows, I used the Going Coconuts palette by ColourPop. And y'all, I must say, I really did enjoy using this palette. If you were thinking about getting it, I highly suggest you do. It's a really good everyday neutral palette with some cool tones. But I like it because it's not too cool, so I can wear it pretty much with any look and not feel like you know my eyes are too cool but my face is really warm so i enjoyed using this this was actually of all the eyeshadow palettes that i was supposed to use last week this was the one that i used the most i will show these like i told you all in my first video when it comes to like lip products and stuff i'm not gonna like say these are the only lip products that i'm gonna use because lip products can vary i feel like but so last week i did pick up let's see i picked up these four Pixie products. I already had this one. Um, and I have really been loving this shade right here. This is called Matte Beige. Ooh, it is such a pretty nude. And then also, I've been wearing this shade too. This is called Berry Beauty. Um, these are the shades that I've been wearing more. This one and this one I've been wearing more often. But I'll, I will definitely be using these this week. But they're not going to be the only lip products I use. But I want to keep using them. And guys, that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. And you're enjoying this series. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I really hope to see you. Yep, you right there in my very next video. Bye, guys.